Eco Energy Solar. Ask us how to access the Victorian Government rebate. Call 1300 740 784. My name is Chris Gleeson. Welcome to the commentary here on a very cold night here at ABD Stadium. Nicky Ferrero, welcome hey, mate. Thanks Chris, I'm very excited for this contest tonight. Obviously only six points separating the two sides, albeit fifth versus tenth, but it's a good chance for Hume to put behind last week's form with their 3-0 loss to Avondale. And, and we are away. Young Hayden Tennant's there looking for his first Hume City goal as well. Now how's the delivery? Hewitt near post, it bounces in the box, shouts for handball, referee waves it away and South Melbourne get it clear. Stephen Hewitt again with the delivery near post, it's headed away by Beckett, chance for Mark Callis, he likes it from this range, he goes Theo Mark Callis and it wasn't far away as Raganovich watches it go past his post. Which is what we want to see. Now it's Beckett, drives forward, cross the Rattus. Trying to go for the cutback, hits the back of Hayden Tennant, and that's what the referee suggests with his motion. It's Danny Dixon range over the wall. Danny Dixon scores for Hume City. It's a magnificent free kick, and Danny Dixon scores, and Hume City fans now celebrate. It is Hume City 1, South Melbourne 0. As South look to get this back on even parity. Well, Danny Dixon has been the Mr. Fix-It man for Hume, but Hume get themselves into trouble now. Salados goes from range, and it could always see that it was tailing away. Michael Weir's not happy with his defence. The South Melbourne captain goes to Skipettis. Got two Hume players around him, and that is a pretty heavy challenge from Hayden Tennant, who's been known to have a bit of a temperament and full-blooded challenges. He's not going to be able to escape a booking for that one. Comes in, can't beat the first man. Brown up in the air. Salados will get another chance to clip it to the back post. And coming through there was, looks like Stratometros. And there's a bit of words here between him and Michael Weir. Michael Weir was not happy about the push in the back. Now Hume, get it clear. Once again, Stratometros. That was a good leave there by Norton. Beckett, edge of the box. Skipettis turns away and crosses to the back post and here's the chance and it goes wide. Nick Crosseratus, huge opportunity for South Melbourne. Now the space opens up for South Melbourne. Jerry Salados finds Crosseratus and now the cross comes in. Tennant heads it away and Hume will get it back again. Edge of the box, Monaghan no foul. Marifiotti, Crosseratus back in towards Beckett and Michael Weir with an excellent save. The Hume City goalkeeper made sure nobody could feed off the scraps as Michael Weir collects. Once away, Michael Weir, who I believe has been the best goalkeeper in the NPL this season, up to the task. He's going to have to defend a gang now, Hume City. But Crosseratus in the end slices it horribly over the top. Counter attack on if the ball can find its way through to Dalic. Dalic drives forward, Marco Jelic inside, can he find the right pass? Markellis, Raganovic, good save. Markellis in the end gets himself in a tangle and South Melbourne will get it clear. Now they can play it quickly, Skipetis. Chance for him to try to get a corner or a cross. It's a dangerous cross in, the header goes over the top though. It was a great opportunity to get level for South Melbourne just on half time. But in the end, the chance was wasted. I think that might have been Monaghan. And that's where the ball goes towards Wilson. The header comes in anyway. It's Marco Dalic. But the offside flag does go up against the Hume City striker. And South Melbourne are not wasting any time. They try to start the counter-attack. They drive the ball forward through Bates. First chance to see his pace in this game. Now Jibba. And Beckett. Schroen turns away. Now the ball goes forward, clips it in, looking for Bates, who gets the header, but that's going to be easy for Michael Weir. Bit of end-to-end -end action. Assume City now look to try to double their advantage. 
as the cross comes in, Monaghan! And in the end, the ball is bundled into the back of the net. Hume City celebrates. And in the end, it is Paul Wilson who, I believe, has got the final touch. So Hume City get the set-piece goal, which they thought they had at the start of the second half. So Hume City 2, South Melbourne nil. As we see Beck, Beckett here. It's a good turn. Skipettis crosses to the back post, but the big hands of Michael Weir come out and collect it before it could get its way to Salados, who made good position at that back post. Reedy's clears. Ball's going to spin. It's an awkward one for Alton to try to control. As Dalich fights for it, Alton goes to ground and allows Dalich to get back on the ball. Dalich is still going, Hume with numbers everywhere. Here's a chance for Harris. Get the first goal, son. He does. Thomas Harris buries it. And Hume City now go 3-0 up. Wonderful work there by Marco Dalich and Thomas Harris. How about that one, son? The teenager scores his first NPL goal. And what a finish that was. Look at South try to get to goal back in this game. Dangerous ball and they do. South Melbourne do get the goal and it's Stratomitros at the near post. A powerful header and South Melbourne get one back. Lifeline here for South Melbourne. So a set piece goal for South Melbourne. South Melbourne can they get a consolation goal here. Skipetis trying to play it through. He's got another chance. Salados comes in, Michael Weir will see it out for a goal kick. And in the end, the referee is going to blow full time here at ABD Stadium, and it is a big win for Hume City, who get their first home win over South Melbourne since 2013. And it is Hume City 3, South Melbourne 1 in this game, and it was a goal in the 21st minute. A brilliantly scored free kick from Danny Dixon, and then it was Paul Wilson with the final touch in, in the 55th minute from a corner. And young Thomas Harris was able to bury it into the top corner from a fantastic finish to get his first professional goal.